I like to talk about Steel's HS45 hedge trimmer. There's two types, there's the HS45 18 inch and the HS45 24 inch blade. As you can see I've got a 24 inch blade, it's a double sided edge blade, it's simple and easy and very, very basic, great engine, basic entry, entry level, no ergo start, no three settings on the chokes, just on or off. I explained to you all about that and the little trick of how to start her uh, without having to flood, flood her all the time. So with the engine itself, it's a one point horsepower engine, which is ample. And um, what you have here is the choke lever. It's always on the normal run. When it's vertical, it's just on the normal run. When you want it on choke, you push it down forwards. The idea of starting your head trimmer is when you do start it and you do hear a cough, it's ready then to put back onto normal run to fire up. Try not to start her fully on the choke, otherwise you'll end up flooding the carburetor and then you'll have to wait for it to dry or replace the diaphragm. So with that, you've got a primer, which is there, and all that does, it injects the fuel from the tank into the carburetor and a recall on the top. Your on and off switch is not a reset button. It's all the, the I is the on and the O is the off. So there's that there. And just on the other side is what I call the cruise button. And all that is basically you lock it, you squeeze the trigger. If you've got more, if you do a job more than five minutes, it releases the pressure of keep on squeezing the trigger all the time. So on hold, press that button in, let go of the trigger, not the button, the cruise button. Now that's in cruise control. The engine is still running, the blades are still moving without me having to touch anything. I can just guide it along. That's the idea. And when you want to release it, you just squeeze the trigger in a little bit more and you heard that click and it comes out. As simple as that. I'm going to use this cruise control to start the engine. This is a little trick that I like to pass on to yourselves on how to start this. Is it enables the carburetor valve to open to allow more petrol to come go through rather than to forever forever pulling and getting nowhere. It kind of helps and it goes forward. So if I go through the procedure, I also like to recommend the resin remover. This resin remover for our start the engine this resin remover is um, a thing about when you're cutting hedges that produces sap now sap is at the moment your blades here are very nice and shiny but the sap is like a, like a top it's very sticky so what that does that sits on the blades and causes the blades to deteriorate not straight away but it causes to lose edge on the blades and also it, help, it resists and what this does it's a resin remover it's not a uh, grease or WD-40 oil it's a uh, acid type and it liquid and it will just eat into the sap and, and um, help to dissolve it but what you do you spray it on for about leave it on there for five minutes get a damp cloth and wipe it off nice little product that is if you have a look on my website I'm still on there <laughs> so here we go I'm just going to start so what I'll do I'll put this on cruise control straight away. So if I do it on where so I can do it on my, my right hand side. On position. Now don't forget this is this is brand new, so it might take an extra few few pulls for it to start, but when it does, it's it's lovely and easy. So squeeze the button here a few times. So the petrol is going into the carburetor. Yep, lovely. Bubble's done. That's need that in the choke position. I've got that on cruise control, button is on the on position, and then I'll give it a few pulls. There's your cough. Perfect. So that little was really what I wanted to hear. I don't want to start it again, because if I try and start it again, I'll just get more coughs, more coughs, and then you think, well, why is it, and then you keep on going, and then it'll flood it. So now I'll flick that back to run, my normal run, position the choke, give it a few squirts, 
Still got it on cruise control. The button on the, on the other side here. Holder there. to be better to be honest it even even didn't need warming up much at all because it's in a warm place here the engine is nice and perfect but in some cases if it's cold you just got to persevere but having that little throttle lever the cruise control on it enables the the valves in the carburetor to open a little bit so the petrol can come through and once I was happy with that if you saw me do that when I was okay I squeezed the trigger and the engine dropped to idle and I was in full control and then I just turned it off. If there's any questions or anything you need to know please look at my website APS Garden Machinery or email me at the same email address at info at apsgardenmachinery.com I'll be more than happy to help you thank you very much take care bye